I'm David Kramer with Fontu Learning Network. With 21 chapters and more than 2,000 pages, the 13th edition of the TDMM is a great reference manual. But as the basis for the RCDD exam, it is a daunting task to know and understand the material in its two volumes. So I've decided to take a chapter per week and briefly talk about a concept within that chapter. This week, we'll be looking at Chapter 1, Principles of Transmission, and talking about cable shielding. In general, we can say that there are three major types of shields. Braided wire, foil, and metal tubes. Each has its own particular characteristics, and when properly used, can reduce the radiated signal from a cable, reduce the effects of electrical hazards, and minimize the effect of external EMI on the conductors. They can be used to envelop the pair, group of pairs, or the cable core. So how do they work? Braided shields protect against low frequencies, which are below 30 MHz. Foil shields protect against high frequencies, which are above 30 MHz. And metal tubes display superior shielding properties at all frequencies. Based on that, how do we choose a shield? Well, we need to know the nature of the signal to be transmitted, the magnitude of the EM fields, any EMC issues, and the physical environment, and then choose based on those needs. Now, each week I'll end with a question. So for today, I'm asking, where does CATV video fall in the spectrum of frequency bands? Is it A, 3 to 30 kilohertz, B, 300 to 3,000 kilohertz, C, 54 to 1,002 megahertz, or D, 3 to 30 gigahertz? If you don't know, I'll give you the answer next week. If you want to learn more about both our live and online RCDD and outside plant review courses, or our upcoming outside plant design series, contact me at davidc at von2learningnetwork.com or at my office at 813-321-5533. So join me again next week for another topic from the TDMM. And thank you for watching.